PokerStars.net Caribbean Adventure High Roller Final Table began with eight players hungry for victory. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now just five remain. Oh. Continuing their quest for the cash, the trophy, yeah. and the title PCA High Roller Champion. Welcome back to Atlantis in the Bahamas, a place of unparalleled elegance and natural beauty. This was the destination for some serious high-stakes poker action. I'm Lon McCarran with Norman Chet. After a $25,000 buy-in, the competitors in this PCA high roller event were up against an elite starting field of 84 players. And after three days of play, we were down to our final eight. Okay. The start of the final table saw the short stack sent to the rail early. Good luck, all. While the man who came in with the most chips saw his luck. Let me win this one. And ultimately, his chips run out. What can you do? Now just five remain. The survivors so far eyeing the first prize of $576,000 and the mantle of PCA High Roller Champion. Norman, let's meet the final five. The short stack is Adolfo Vieza. This amateur is at his second major high roller final table, and he's enjoying the ride. Probably is only luck, but here I am. In fourth place is Lisa Hamilton. We can play again for real now. The 2009 World Series Ladies Champion sits with just under 580,000. He's not having chips. Third is Mikhail Brummelhaus. This two-time World Series final tableist has just over 640,000. In second, with over a million, is William Reynolds, who is looking for his first major live victory. This would definitely be one of my greatest accomplishments. Then there is the chip leader. Will Molson was runner-up at this event last year and sums up what a win today would mean in one word. Redemption it would definitely improve the last year. It wasn't a fluke. Five remain, but only one will be the 2010 PCA High Roller Champion. Here is the trophy the winner will take home, along with $576,000. The North American Poker Tour at the PCA is set to continue. Currently, Will Molson, who was the runner-up at this event last year, is the chip leader. He does not want to finish second again, trust me. But he's followed closely by William Reynolds looking for his first major live win. Last night I told you, remember what I told you. No, yeah, yeah, I, I remember what you said. He had, he had this many chips, and you're like, you're going to win the tournament. Remember. And I laughed. I'm like, yeah, right. Yeah, you laughed, remember. <laughs> Indeed. Reynolds down to just scraps on the final table bubble, but he doubled up a couple of times through Brummel House to make it here. The man with the predictions is two-time EPT final tableist Adolfo Baeza. Another decorated player at this table, Lisa Hamilton, is the 09 World Series ladies champ, looking for her first open tournament victory. One of these five players will walk away with $576,000. The blinds at 15 and 30,000. McKeel Brummel House with pocket jacks. He is good friends with fellow pro Lex Veldhaus. They play a lot of tennis together. And with the Jacks, Bromo House will raise it up to 72000 Next in line is our chip leader, Will Molson. He tangled with former chip leader Tobias Rankemeyer a number of times before Rankemeyer went out in sixth place. Molson folds to Lisa Hamilton, King 7 into the muck. And the very likable amateur from Uruguay, Adolfo Vieza, 10-7. Into the muck, to the big blind William Reynolds. Pocket fives. He's known online as Ultram Altus, Latin for dark secret. I think his dark secret right here is he remembers Brummelhaus bluffing him earlier at this final table. He wants revenge. And he's going to come along for 42000 more, but he better step very carefully with those cards. Jacks against fives. The flop. Six, Trey, ace, misses both. Brummelhaus still leads with the jacks, but that ace might put a break on any action. Reynolds will check. Well, I suspect Brummelhaus might throw out an old-fashioned tester bet right here. You know, take his pocket jacks out for a stroll. But he checks, too. Or he could check, Lon, <laughs> which he is free to do. <laughs> Turn card now. Is another ace. Brummelhaus leads with the better aces up. Reynolds checks again. Now Brummelhaus is ready to giddy up. I think you're right. He's reaching for chips. Giving us some serious thought and puts out 45000 That is a small bet. Caveat emporlan. Let the buyer beware. 
Reynolds with his pocket fives and the aces on board will pay to see the river makes the call. Maybe Reynolds not in the mood to be bluffed again. Of course, this time he's not being bluffed. The river card is a five and Reynolds with a full house. Things change. Reynolds hits a two-outer to earn 100% next to his name. That also put a third diamond on board. Reynolds now reaching for chips. He bets half the pot, 132000 Exactly half the pot to the penny. This is the first time Reynolds has let out, and it's got to perplex Brummel House. If I'm McKeel, I might think maybe Reynolds slow played an ace, maybe hit a diamond flush. Brummel House. How can I fold you? <laughs> He's obviously uncomfortable. Well, respect if you're bluffing, but I just feel I'm beat. And lays it down. I think Reynolds wants to show him a bluff, but he can't. And Reynolds will take that pot. Carpe diem is a Latin term, Lon, isn't it? It is, and William Reynolds Sick. just indeed did seize the day. Winning pots. Winning pots again. Reynolds getting a little revenge on Brummel House. I fold the jacks. Yeah. For the jacks there. Yeah, I promise I wasn't, wasn't lying. That's true. Brummel House wasn't lying that time. Reynolds on the uptick, sitting with 1.2 million after that hand. Let's see how the players have fared since the final table began. Molson and Reynolds have made the most gains. Hamilton and Brummel House have slightly improved, while Adolfo Baeza is the only player to currently have less than what he started with. You know, Lon, the last time I had less than what I started with, it was at the end of my fourth marriage. <laughs> Action on the second short stack, Adolfo. Adolfo Baeza looks at a 9-4 offsuit and lays it down over to William Reynolds. Queen 5 of spades. Reynolds and Brummel House. A lot of history started with the final table bubble. Raised to 70,000 on Brummel House now on the button. Jack 6. He lays it down to the chip leader Will Molson in the small blind. Ace Queen offsuit. The big stack may want to push back with a pretty big hand here against Reynolds. But he just calls. Or he could just call on, <laughs> which he is free to do. Lisa Hamilton now in the big blind with pocket jacks. She has just under 20 big blinds left. Two players already in the pot. My guess is she's going to push. And she just re-raises to 180000 Or she could just re-raise, which she is free to do. Reynolds gets out of the way. Now back to Molson. Yeah, well, now the chip leader is trying to figure out if Hamilton's got a real hand or not. In the sunglasses, the seventh place finisher and friend and roommate of Molson, Matt Marafiotti. I'm all in. Molson re raises Hamilton all in. I guess I got a call. You're calling? Okay. And she'll call to put her tournament at risk. That was interesting. If she had shoved with the Jacks, I'm not entirely sure he calls. Instead, he shoves, and she ends up calling all in, and we have a huge pot here. Molson, the chip leader, risking almost half his stack here. It was Lisa's good friend, Bertrand Grospellier, Elkie, who talked her into playing this event. I knew that squeeze was coming from you, Lise. You picked up a hand, though. Hamilton can move into second place if her Jacks hang on. The flop, eight, four, six, couple of clubs. Hamilton still ahead. Lisa Hamilton trying to stick around, though she looks like she'd rather be elsewhere at the moment. Third card now. Queen of clubs. Molson leads with a pair of queens and a better flush draw. Sure. Now remember, Brummel House folded a jack. Lisa Hamilton has to have the last jack in the deck or she's going home. What a key river card this is for the tournament. It is a king, and that will do it. Will Molson knocks off Lisa Hamilton in fifth place. She'll earn almost $134,000. She usually plays high-stakes cash. She'll have to settle for the one hundred thirty-four dollars here for her efforts. So Molson becomes a little stronger chip leader. Lisa saying her goodbyes. A great showing. Last year's runner-up, Will Molson, on pace to complete unfinished business. Hi, I'm Joanna Krupa, and welcome back to the North American Poker Tour. Think you've got what it takes to take on poker's best in an upcoming NAPT event? Log on to PokerStars.net and play free daily tournaments to win your seat at the table. Now, let's get the cards back in the air.
Welcome back inside the poker room here at the beautiful Atlantis Resort. Only four players remain at this high roller final table thanks to Will Molson knocking out Lisa Hamilton in fifth place. Let's take a look at how the final four stack up. Mikhail Brummelhouse is the short stack with only 12 big blinds. Faeza ahead of him. Both are being lapped by Reynolds and Will Molson continues to pull away. He's over two million. Will looking to improve upon his finish at this event last year, but that's not going to be easy as the only way to do that is to win the whole thing. I was pretty happy with my play uh, last year. It was my first high roller event and just playing with all the big names was an awesome experience. Got to meet a lot of them. It was just a dream come true. Maybe I was a little intimidated towards the end. I was heads up with Alki, and he's very aggressive. Alki raises to 72,000. So it's definitely tough to play against. I'm all in. Alki oh, call. calls. I was all in the first hand. It was a little disappointing, but I was still extremely happy with second. Big round of applause. Will's going to finish in second place. It's definitely uh, nice to have that previous final table under my belt. Between last year's and this year's final table, I consider myself a better player. I'm all in. I have pretty good reads on everyone at the trap. I knew he'd be raising, so I'm pretty confident. Let's go, baby. Go! This year, I won first place. It would just prove to myself and, and everyone last year wasn't a fluke, so yeah, it would mean a lot. Entering heads up with Elke, Molson only had 10 big blinds. On the first hand, he pushed with King-10, got called by Ace-Jack and didn't improve. He's closing in on another heads up again this year, but this time Molson has a lot of chips. 380. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Reynolds needling his rival Brummelhouse about the size of his stack. All right, action will begin on Adolfo Vieza. Queen-10 will not play. William Reynolds. Ace four of clubs on the button. He was fourth in 2009 at the EPT Sam Remo. That was worth almost half a million dollars. And Reynolds <laughs> likes the ace four of clubs and will put some heat on the short stacked Brummel House with a raise to 65,000. King Jack of clubs for Brummel House. Short stacked with suited pictures. The second big stack is in the pot. The chip leader has yet to act. If he pushes, he'll probably get a call from one of the two. Is it worth it? I'm all in. He is all in. Guess it was worth it. For 389000 now to the biggest stack. Will Molson with a jack and eight. Molson's family founded Molson Beer in 1786, but Will has never been a part of the family business. Oh, He'll lay down that hand and leave it up to Reynolds. I feel dirty or he's full in this. It's probably bad. Brummel House wouldn't mind a fold. It's probably a bad lay down. Holding an ace. Reynolds gives it up. It was a bad laydown, but a raw human and est to air is human. Altrum Altus. Probably a bad laydown. Elway Ande, Mr. Brummelhouse. I forgot you minored in pig Latin at UCSB. <laughs> but I like to keep you in here. Yeah. I'd okay. rather just pick on you slowly. Than oh, yeah, that's better. Than blow. <laughs> Make him look painful. <laughs> Some good-natured ribbing from Reynolds. Of course, these two have been going at it since the final table bubble when Reynolds doubled up twice through Brummel House. The beautiful championship trophy sits just off the final table. Four players left. For them. Easy blind. <laughs> you just asked for it. Have Let's you looked see. at your cards yet? Vallesa has been defending his blind at the final table, usually with a warning. Well, he hasn't scared off too many of these young guns. Will Reynolds looks right. down at four deuce. It's going to be easy for me. He lays it down. Brummel House. And Reynolds is not in the hand, so Brummel House is not going to play. I love the invitation. <laughs> Over to the chip leader. Ace tray of clubs. Maybe the chip leader is going to test that easy blind. There is. Yeah, Molson will challenge that big blind. A raise to 80,000. And Baeza with King, eight of hearts. Not much. He's done it before. Maybe Adolfo will do it again. Call. Adolfo makes the call. The 58-year-old amateur will protect his blind with quasi-rags. And he will be challenging the chip leader, Will Molson. Baeza, remember, has a road marking company in Argentina. He's quite likable. The flop is eight jack king, a couple of clubs. Fiesa with kings up. Molson picked up a club flush draw. That's the bet this is off for. Molson 
90,000. Makes it 90,000. Let's sit down to 15 big blinds now. This has got to be an all-in for him. I'll call an all-in, but I won't be happy about it. Really? Yeah. 